morning everyone this is Lynn Wilson at Lynn Wilson Originals here in Mills River North Carolina and today I'm going to do a paint pour um, this is something that I have been practicing all week trying to figure out what colors look good together so this was one attempt this has gold midnight sky um, kernel mustard and bunker hill blue and this attempt was with pinks and it has peony um the gold digger mason dixon gray t rose and what's the other one soft pink so i finally decided on this one and this one has midnight sky Paint blue, Bunker Hill blue, um, gold, gold digger, and um, of what is manatee gray. I have mixed little containers of each color, and I added some of them were a little bit thick, so I added a touch of water. This is just water, um, but my pouring medium is Floetrol and uh, this is a lot less expensive than the flowing medium that you would get at Michael's because I've done both ways and this works just as well and you can get this at like Home Depot or Lowe's. The other thing I did to create cells where you see like the pretty where the paint kind of opens up um, I've heard you add silicone so I've added some silicone but in my last couple of paint pours, I did not see a whole lot of cell creation, but we'll see what happens today. Um, oh, my nose is running because it's cold down here. So I'm gonna actually pour my paint, layer my paints into two containers. Um, this is the piece that I'm gonna be pouring on. And as you can see, I've got it wrapped in plastic um, to try to keep the, the pour from getting on the rest of the piece. I've done several pours that that didn't work as well and then you have to kind of sand it off and the poured paint is kind of thick um, and I want to make sure one of the things that I've learned is you definitely want to have enough paint so I probably have more than enough but I'm gonna do two containers so that if I need to I can dump some more so I'm gonna start with my Midnight Sky by Dixie Belle. And this is, it's a really, really dark blue, almost like black. So I'm gonna put a little of that in each of my containers. And I found the more layering that you do um, on your paints in the, in the cups, it gives a prettier result. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little gold into, on top of the blue and then this is the haint blue and Bunker Hill this really, Dixie Belle makes a cobalt, but this is almost a cobalt color. And I'm gonna put some of this gray in. I didn't use gray initially. This is the um, Manatee Gray, which is Dixie Belle's gray with a blue undertone. So I'm thinking that would be a good compliment. All right, so I'm sure I have more than enough paint. And what I'm gonna do is just take it and flip it. And another reason, this piece was a good candidate for a paint pour because a lot of times you seal your paint pour with resin and this had some transfers on it that I, I kind of sanded them down 
but this will be thick enough to cover those. This is a piece that I did last year and I painted it originally in drop cloth and throughout the course of the last nine months I've seen a reddish tinge come through and I had primed it but apparently I didn't put enough primer on it. Um, this time all that's on it right now is Dixie Belle's gray boss and I put two coats on to try to prevent bleed through. And I am going to dump my second one. I probably have way too much paint, but I'd rather have too much than too little. I was doing the panels I wasn't so concerned about whether I got coverage on everything but now I gotta make sure that I get everything covered here I haven't painted my piece yet because I want to see what colors kind of dominate and I want to make sure it's going over my edges here. And again, the colors I've used are Midnight Sky, Gold Digger, Manatee Gray, Paint Blue, and Bunker Hill Blue. And there is a link in the description of this live that shows where you can purchase these colors if you're not near a local retailer. And if there's an area that it doesn't want to go, I just take my popsicle stick and just try to brush it over it. And that's, that's the finished look. For better or for worse, I do think I got kind of a galaxy look, which is what I was looking for. And um, I will come back and show you the completed project on my page. And that's Lynn Wilson Originals. And you can check out some of my other paint pours that I've done. I put on my Instagram account, also Lynn Wilson Originals. So, huh. thank you very much for watching. And I do appreciate your support and watching my channel. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.